we are back in our labs session where we will be learning machine learning algorithm in an applied manner so in this we are going to learn about multivariate linear regression where we have more than one feature and from that we will be able to predict one particular feature now again this is the notes column which we have we have looked into simple linear regression then we are jumping into multiple then we are going to go through some more different types of regression problems so for this we are going to start with the boston data set so this is how our notes looks like so whenever you can get the file you can just go through all of these and get a view about what exactly it is asking and uh, with some insights on this so i have written out some notes over there also so if you want to look out so you can just go through that but let's start with coding everything out let's start by importing our numpy then we have matplotlib import our pyplot spld and let's do matplotlib inline done let's import pandas these are something which are pretty common for all of those. Let's import Seaborn as NS. That's it. Now let's start by loading our data set. For this, we are not going to load a data set from some CSV file, but sklearn not only provides us with different kinds of functions, different kinds of tools for a machine learning, but it also provides us with different data sets by which we can practice our machine learning algorithms. So one of them is the Boston data set. So how to load the data set? It's quite easy. From first we have to call from sklearn dot data set. We will be importing load Boston. Let's check uh, sklearn from data set. I guess there's a typo. Okay. So let's restart the kernel. Let's wait for a second. Hmm. Now let's check out how to look it out. So if I check load Boston, it's not a normal data set as of now as we have looked through CSV. So we need to do some things to make it like look like a normal data set. What are the different keys or the feature names? Okay, so you can just check out what are the different keys. So I just do just save uh, load load Boston, which is a function. I'll just initialize it. So I'll name it as Boston data set is equal to this. If I look into Boston data set, it is having arrays of values of different things. Now let's look into the different keys that we are having in this so please so we have data target feature names DSCR and file name so DSCR stands for the description if you want a description about the ex whatever we are having in the Boston data set so let's print out Boston data set and then DSCR Let's look into so this is the every each and every detail that you need to know about the Boston how pricing data set. So number of instances are 506, number of attributes are 32. It is a categorical predictive. Also, you can do it for numeric also. These are the different uh, attribute information. So these are the different columns. We have box, RM disk. You can just get out what exactly all of these are. That's it. Now let's create out our data set so we just name our data set boston and we will create a pandas data frame out of it so pandas data frame oops data frame and i will just load out boston data set load out my boston data set dot data if you want to ever look into whatever i'm doing you can just check out this file okay so these are all the data which is an array so what does 
pd.dataframe takes in it takes in the data the data will be in array form or any other uh, iterable object so we are just passing a data which is in data column and then we have to create the columns okay. for the columns we have columns is equal to boston data set dot feature names oops so now if i check boston this is what we actually need these are all the things that we need uh, the values if you look into screens in in this case nox rm age there's you can check out the definition all of this taxes full value property tax rate for 10,000 but what is the exact value that we should be predicting out then you can see that we have already have the data value we have the feature names we have looked into what is tax cr file name is only the file name of it we need the target value variable that our machine learning model should be predicting out so let's do it if i write boston underscore data set dot target and check out this is again an array so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pass this array to my uh, previous oops, uh, previous data frame that i have created about boston to do this this is again easy you just have to write the data set name that is boston and you have to write the column name so the column name will be med v okay and I'll just press equal to that's it now if i check boston dot head okay so you can see out we have exactly the data set that we are looking for we have a bunch of different columns okay or different features and we have a target column or the target variable that is med v that we have to predict out next is where we are going to start with the eda part but before that something which i highly recommend you is to do describe so it just gives me a bit of info about all the columns that i have so count mean and standard deviation along with minimum and maximum and the next thing which i mostly do is info so it also gives me if there are any nan values so i can see that there are no nan values so none of the cells are empty so that's it for this video where we have loaded out the data set in the next video we are going to start out with the eda part